I'm Assistant Athletic Director for Communications, Ryan Thompson, and today we're talking men's basketball. We have with us today is point guard and a senior, Jano Jobert, and also head coach, Burt Paddock, in his 12th season. Uh, Jano, we'll start with you. Um, you saw your numbers increase from your sophomore to your junior year. Oh, how hard did you work in the offseason getting into that junior year to improve those numbers? Uh, I worked uh, extremely hard, you know, just being able to come into my junior year um, healthy, like I didn't come into my sophomore year healthy. I had surgery uh, prior to the year, but I worked extremely hard on my ball handling and uh, my spot-up shooting. You know, also for you, the teams are going to be gunning for you guys after a 27-4 and campaign last year. Obviously, you were uh, won the GLIAC regular season and did really well in the tournament. Um, how do you take it just one game and one day at a time? Uh, just, just keeping that same mindset. You know, this is only our third year uh, competing. Uh, in Division Two, we just have to go into each and every day and each and every practice and game as still that mindset that we are the underdogs. Sure. And then finally, what's your biggest motivation as a team coming into this season? Uh, just winning another ring. We had that feeling last year, and we know what it takes to get there, so we just have to come in uh, each and every day to work uh, towards that goal. Sure. You know, Coach Freer, you were GLIAC Coach of the Year last year. We had talked about how good you guys were, ranked nationally for several weeks, and finished the season number 12th in the country. After that run, how do you repeat that success this year? Well, a lot of hard work. We talk about it every day that last year was last year's team, and this is a whole new group. We've got a lot of new faces that we'll see this year. I think we're incredibly talented, got a lot of new new players that are really, really good players, but it's a challenge. It's not just about talent. It's not always the team with the most talent that wins. You can see that in a lot of different uh, sporting events and stuff, and it's just this as a coaching staff, it's important for us to try to find a way to mesh these guys together, find that chemistry to where they all love each other and, and play hard for each other, not just with each other. And so, you know, it's an ever, ever ending, never ending process every day in practice. And I feel like I'm harping on some things right now. Janot can probably attest to that. But I think that's our biggest thing right now. It's not about trying to, are we good enough? It's about will we be able to compete with and for each other uh, and love each other to where we can get to back to where we share that thing and compete like we did last year as, as a team in one unit. Sure. Uh, again, with so much talent on the squad, how do you go about balancing playing rotations and getting guys into the game? Well, that's my biggest challenge. I talk to our coaches a lot in individual meetings and stuff that uh, I put it back on them. Uh, every day in practice, we're filming stuff, we're watching video, and, you know, every day is, a, is an interview for these guys. And, you know, I love them all. I don't play the guys I like because I like all 15 of them. If I didn't like them, they wouldn't be on our team. And so the biggest thing for me and the thing that probably is the hardest thing for me is when guys don't get to play enough because I know everybody on our team has paid the price and they want to get out there. But at the end of the day, we got to put the guys out there. They're going to give us the greatest chance to win, and you've got an opportunity from the time school starts uh, until the time that first game uh, begins to earn your playing time or in a starting role, a backup role, whatever it may be. Um, and if you're not in that rotation, then you better be the best cheerleader you could ever have. And I think our guys have bought into that. They understand that. They, I think they understand that we don't play favorites. Or I, I guess I do. My favorites are the guys that help us win. Guys are doing the right things on and off the court, and I think that that holds true. Our guys know that, and I think that's why we're having such great uh, competitive, spirited practices right now. How exciting is it to open the season at the Hall of Fame Classic uh, November the 1st? Yeah, it's exciting until you find out who you're playing. Those teams that we're playing are incredibly good. Uh, you know, USC Aiken won 27 games last year, and Lincoln Memorial is one of the winningest teams in the country the last 15 or 20 years. Our coaches, both coaches, those two teams do an incredible job. And so we're excited from the standpoint we love to challenge ourselves. And um, it's really cool that Mr. McCarthy, the guy that runs the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame, invited us down there. It's, it tells us a little bit about what people are thinking about what we're doing with our program, a big testament to our players and how hard they've worked and got us in this position to get an opportunity to go do that. But now, like I tell our players, it's not about going, it's not the excitement of going down there and playing. The excitement is going down there and winning two games and coming back with a smile on your face and understanding that, okay, we are good enough and we can translate this into a really special season. Uh, regardless, we're going to find out a lot about ourselves really fast. Thanks, guys, for joining us here today. And for everything about the men's basketball program, you can visit dupanthers.com.